Hello, today I'm going to show you a Fremencial video tutorial on mitral valve and valve TMVR workout with an Singtune or Abbott Epic 31 millimeter prosthetic mitral valve. This is a rather unique valve because the annular frame is quite hard to visualize. It's, the line is actually not very radio opaque and you also don't have any uh, fluoroscopic signature on the commissural pulse and it's also of no piece of porcelain well so we'll try to show you how this is done so first with the mitral platform uh, you click a dot on the cross the prosthetic mitral valve and you click on the mitral assessment so once you have that you can see this which is a very dilated left ventricle. You have to make sure that this axis is actually extended to the LV apex, and this is crossing the prosthetic mitral valve. First step is to define the mitral annulus. Now, this is going to be tricky because remember, it's not as easy uh, to identify unlike some, some of the other surgical valves. So what I do is you try to identify the, where the frame is at the annular level, the very faint line you can see it's a little bit of white there and so i'm just going to follow the white dot here all around the annulus okay and then after that i'm going to edit to try to get as smooth as possible you can see here remember the surgical valves a little bit of a contour of three leaflets so you want to be in that contour So you have to take your time here. This is one of the more important steps because this will determine the projected uh, size of the surgical valve. Obviously, if you have the surgical valve size, you can use Vinny Bypass Mitral Valve and Valve App to determine what ideal surgical valve you can replace, but still you need to measure the LVOT. And so you wanna make sure this is, you can see here pretty well. Done. And you can see that here, this is important. This is the axial view of the surgical valve. Now, what you want to see is that you want to be at the inner part of the frame. Remember, you want to you don't want to overestimate the measurement. So this is where you go to go on this particular plane to be able to see that you're actually at the inner. So you size appropriately. Okay, so that looks pretty good. So once you have that, you click confirm. Okay, so you can see that here, and then you go in to manually bring this line to zero. And the next step is to define a new LVOT, which you can do like a tower workout with a native aortic valve, you bisect the left side is with the open red circle and then you click a dot on the top left panel. So you note the base of the left sinus, then you do the same with the base of the right sinus. And then you do the same with the base of the non sinus. So if you haven't done this before, I encourage you to watch the tower workout tutorial that I've done before. So I'm just showing you right now where that native anatomy is on the aortic side. Now it's also important to actually center the LVOT line. So you can see this is the prosthetic mitral valve. So you wanna be able to actually shift this a little bit more towards the septum while maintaining center part of the 
ventricular cavity. So you can see that here, how this traces that way. Obviously, we're not going to worry about the neo LVOT area here because this, the risk of LVOT obstruction is almost is zero. This is that ventricle is so dilated. But you can see that here, when you rotate this around with a solid blue circle cutting across this annular center line, you get this free chamber view projection where this is the aortic annulus line, this is the mitral annulus line for the prosthetic valve. And then you have the green dot and red dot. When you show info, essentially what you're seeing is a measurement of this dimension, which is TT, don't worry about TT, which is basically kind of see one dimension, and then this is the AP dimension. So you can see even for this one surgical valve, you'll have a internal diameter between 28 to around 30. So your valve will be at 29 balloon expandable, 29 millimeter balloon expandable valve. So once you have that, you can you know that is the case, and you go show virtual valve and you click edit to make sure it's a 29. Your frame height for 29 balloon expandable valve is around 22 millimeters. And then you right click the pink dot here and you say snap to valve. When you do snap to valve, it centers it. Now, the other important thing that to note is that where do you position this, this uh, balloon expandable valve? So you have to go all the way to the bottom of the commercial post. Now, remember, with the epic valve, you have horsey leaflets. So technically, your horsey leaflet is not going to go all, all the way to the base, to the commissural post. It's going to be a little bit less than that. But just to be extremely conservative, you're going to put the outflow of the balloon experiment at the same level where the commissural posts are. You can see that one, two, three, where these posts are located. So ideally, the two posts will be strong in LVOT, but sometimes it doesn't happen. And sometimes it'd be totally uh, misaligned in terms of the commercial position. So once you have that, you can go back and scroll back up to the zero millimeter. That's the plane and the plane that you derive. And then you can then right click. This is a 31 millimeter epic. So you can label that. You can also do that here. And you can do the angle tool. You can see that here, you draw the angle between the aortic annulus and the prosthetic mitral annulus. And you claim that this is the aortic mitral angle. And you can see how that balloon expandable valve will fit. You can label that as well. And then in terms of new LVOT, you go to a new LVOT view, you leave this angle. And so what you do is you take the parallax out of the balloon expandable valve here, you make it into a box. And what you can do is to go in the narrowest area. Now here is wide open, so I'm not even gonna be worried, but you can technically come here and this will be the narrowest portion. And you can actually draw a line to denote that this is the cut plane of your new LVOT because you can measure the new LVOT differently and just a little bit of difference can change the measurement. So Neo LVOT cut plane. And then, so here's your Neo LVOT measurement. So right click and then go to polygon. So polygon, you just basically trace out the area that's remaining after this balloon expandable valve is occupied and pin the leaflets open. And you can see that here, wide open new LVOT, no issue there. Now you notice that this is more a diastolic phase, but in systole it should not be an issue either, but the principle is still the same. You wanna do it at an end systole to start. And then if the new LVOT is a bit borderline or small, you can go into early and mid systole to compare and to see whether there's any risk of LVOT obstruction. So let me go back to the mitral analyst. And then now I'm gonna go to this hockey puck view. You know, that's gonna show you, I'm gonna take off the virtual valve, how this epic will look. So you can see there are some fluoroscopic 
uh, landmarks at the commercial poles, and you can see a very faint line at the sewing airplane. So what you can do is you can take the parallax out of this line you trace and then the commercial post lined up to determine the angle. So as you can see, this is a pretty steep angle when you just rotate the two posts together. But you can keep rotating and rotating until you have a better sense of where so this is a certainly an easier angle to work with. You can even go more extreme, but you can now gain two cranial. So, so that's kind of how you determine the fluoroscopic angle. So let's look at the report. You can see that here. This is the measurements of the stand frame, and you can use the valve valve app. This is the aerometric angle. This is the cut plane. It's the new LVOT based on the cut plane and some fluoroscopic views. And you can save this PDF to share with your heart team. And of course, you can also save this session as well. So I hope this is helpful to you in looking at a mitral valve in valve TMVL with a prosthetic mitral valve that is porcine valve with a shorter leaflet, but also a, can be more challenging with a more faint fluoroscopic signature. I hope this is helpful to you and see you next time.